Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on using PlayScore 2 with Sibelius. First of all, open up the PlayScore 2 app and then that'll take you here, the documents page. This is where PlayScore 2 stores all of your scores once you've copied them over to the app. A bit like a home or a main menu page. If your scores are already on PlayScore 2, you can skip to the timestamp where we start transferring our music to Sibelius. But if you haven't copied your scores yet, tap the camera icon at the bottom right of the screen and then take a snap of your score. Make sure that you've got plenty of light in your space and that your photos aren't blurry. Make sure you're also taking your photo within the grey track lines that'll show up on your screen. You may need a few goes before you get that perfect snap. Once you've taken your photo, your score will then copy over to Play Score 2 and from there you can open your score in Sibelius. If your scores are already on iCloud, tap the Import button and then you can import your scores from there. You can also copy your scores from a free score library like IMSLP, as we're going to do here. Open up the Safari browser and then in your web browser enter imslp.org. You'll then be taken to the home page of IMSLP and you can choose your scores from there. I've already downloaded my score from IMSLP into a web browser. We've got this lovely arrangement here of Debussy's trio for flute, viola and harp. Now we want to tap the export button and then go to play score 2 that will come up on the export menu. So as you can now see our IMSLP score has copied over from the web browser into play score 2 and it's showing this row of page thumbnails at the top of the screen. I'm selecting the final movement. So to do this, tap just above the page you want first, and then tap just below the page that you want last. And as you can see, the blue grid lines are selecting the pages we want. Tap done. And there you go. Our music is now in play score two. Simply adjust the tempo and then press play. Don't forget to scroll down and toggle auto transposition if your score has transposing instruments. Wait for the music to make the necessary changes. You can also select what instruments you want to hear in your playback. So tap the staves button at the bottom left of your screen and then you can choose the instruments for each part in your playback. OK, we can now start transferring our music to Sibelius. Tap the export button at the top right of your screen and then tap save as music XML and then the normal export screen will come up. If you're a Mac user, tap the airdrop button and the music XML file will automatically transfer over to your computer. Otherwise, email the music XML file to yourself using your chosen platform. Once you've emailed the file to yourself, open up your email account and download the file, which will automatically go into your downloads folder. Then open up Sibelius on your computer, click the import tab from the home menu and then open music XML. You can then import the music XML file from your downloads folder. Wait for your music XML file to load and then you'll get this little screen that'll automatically come up. Make sure that the boxes are checked for use page and stuff from music XML file and use layout and formatting from music XML file. You can also retain or change the instrumentation from your music XML file. So to do this, unselect Let Sibelius Choose Instruments, but keep the box checked for Use Instrument Names for Music XML File. You'll then see a box that will appear on your screen, so you can then select what instruments you want for each part. I'm going for the original instrumentation in Debussy Sonata for flute, viola and harp. And you should essentially see the same notation as you did in Play Score 2. Just to check, I'm going to play the score so you can hear it in Sibelius. You can then edit and arrange your score as required. And there you go, 
That's our step-by-step -step guide on using Sibelius with PlaySchool 2. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe for more video tutorials like this one coming very soon. But for now, we hope that you enjoy using PlaySchool 2.